We continue our series now on the under-21 players of one of China's biggest football clubs, Shanghai SIPG FC. The squad and their coaching staff have been on a six-week tour of the UK to learn more about training methods and player development. During their trip, they've been based at England's National Football Centre, St George's Park in Staffordshire. Assistant coach Stuart Gelling has seen how the state-of-the-art facilities have benefited the young side. We've been lucky to have such a fantastic new facility to, to work from. Uh, we've got everything we require here from the, the football facilities, the pitches, the changing facilities, the, the gymnasium, the rehabilitation, the, the fitness side of things. It's perfect for uh, this type of, of tour. From profiling the players, you know, we've got the lecture rooms, we've got the video analysis. So basically everything we you could require or you could wish for as a football coach, as a football staff, we have here and that ultimately will benefit the, the players hopefully now and long term. The team's last game of the tour was set to be their toughest. They headed to Molyneux to take on the academy side of Wolverhampton Wanderers, who will be playing in the English Premier League next season. Work together, don't worry things go against you at times, that's fine, that's normal. Okay, and start the game properly. Good tempo, okay, good luck. Shanghai made a positive start, but went into halftime a goal behind after a defensive lapse. Not for the first time on the tour, though. The Chinese youngsters fought back from a goal down. Zhao Jin got the equalizer, and SIPG held on for a highly credible draw. The chance to play at a Premier League stadium against high-level opposition was the ideal end to the youngsters' trip. It's quite exciting to play at the home of a Premier League team. The weather was good and I enjoyed the game a lot. The surface was just perfect for playing football. Today's game was played at a very high tempo. It was really exciting to play such a strong opponent and on a fantastic pitch too. For head coach Ian Brunskill, the result was evidence of how the team has developed during their tour. We've tried to provide the players with a very varied games program at the start of this period and we built them up gradually. Obviously, as their physical performance has improved, obviously the tactical and technical awareness has, has developed, both individually and as a group. We've been able to test the players in different ways during the, during the games that we've arranged. And the final game here today against Wolves was probably the most tactical game that the players have had to take part in. And I think the progress that they've shown probably would not have been evident at the beginning of the period. And today they've performed very well. They were tested technically and tactically and physically. So this game, the final game against Wolverhampton on a big Premier League arena like, like it is here now, has been a, a really good culmination to the trip. The players have shown a fantastic attitude to all the work that's been undertaken. Obviously it's a, it's a difficult task being away from home for longer than six weeks. Uh, there's a different food, there's different training methods, the intensity of training has been different, the matches have been different, and I think they've embraced everything that we've tried. There's been no opposition to anything that we've done. I think they've started to see the rewards in their own development.